Hello everyone. I welcome you to the very first session in this lecture series on genetics and molecular biology. I am Dr. Yogesh Pawde. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channels and hit the bell button so that you get the notifications of upcoming videos in real time. Coming to the first competency in this lecture series that is BI 7.1 which deals with the structure and functions of DNA and RNA and the cell cycle. In this session, we are going to cover structure of nucleotides. Okay. So, coming to the specific learning objectives of this session, at the end of the session, phase 1 MBB student shall be able to explain the structure of nucleotides. So, this is a very short video covering the structure of nucleotides. We will cover pyrimidine basis structure first and purine basis because pyrimidine structure is little simpler compared to purine and once you understand pyrimidine structure, it will be easy for you to understand purine structures as well. So, coming to the pyrimidine basis, cytosine, cytosine, thiamine and uracil, these are the pyrimidine bases. So, one by one, we will see the chemical name, peculiar facts of their presence in DNA or RNA. Okay. Coming to the structure here, first of all, all the pyrimidine bases can exist in lactam form and lactam form. Lactam means keto group and lactam means enol group. So, this particular group, if there is presence of keto group or oxy group, that means it is lactam form and there is hydroxyl group here, that means it is enol or lactam form. Okay. At the physiological pH, the keto form this particular structure, the lactam or keto form, lactam or keto form will be predominant compared to lactam or enol form. Okay. So, this is the most common structure of pyrimidine basis. Now, coming to the individual structure of cytosine, thymine and uracil, what should be the chemical name of cytosine? Depending on the groups attached to the carbon atoms in this pyrimidine ring, chemical name of cytosine, thiamine and uracil is derived. So, what is the chemical name of cytosine? If you see the groups attached to carbon atoms under these boxes, you see there is oxy group at second carbon atom and there is amino group at fourth carbon atom. So, the chemical name of cytosine is 2 oxy 4 amino pyrimidine. Okay, 2 oxy 4 amino pyrimidine. Then similarly for thiamine, if you see these three groups are attached, one oxy group at second carbon, one oxy group at fourth carbon and one methyl group at fifth carbon atom. Okay. What, what should be the name of thiamine? It is 2,4-dioxy-5-methyl-pyrimidine. So, when we derive a name, we go according to the number of the carbon atom. Okay. So, 2,4-dioxy-5-methyl-pyrimidine is thiamine. Similarly, for uracil also, there are only two groups here. If we remove methyl group from thiamine, okay, you will get the uracil. So, 2,4-dioxy-pyrimidine is the name for uracil. Okay. Now, the peculiar facts about cytosine is, cytosine is found in all nucleic acids except DNA of certain viruses. Okay. It is present in DNA as well as RNA, but in some virus and their DNA do not contain cytosine. Then thymine, we always say or there are, uh, there are you will find references saying that thymine is present only in DNA, but it is not like that minor amounts are also been found in tRNA. If you remember tRNA structures that we are going to discuss in detail in subsequent lectures also, but that tRNA structure has a T psi C loop, thymine, pseudouracil and cytosine loop is there. So, there is the presence of thymine in tRNA. Okay. Then coming to uracil, uracil here, you if you find nucleic acid structures, you will find uracil only confined to RNA. It is not found in DNA and these are three uh, major pyrimidine bases, but there are few minor pyrimidine bases as well like 5 hydroxy methyl cytosine, there are methylated derivatives and reduced uracil also. Okay. So, 
हाइड्रोक्सी मिथिल साइटोसिन एंड रिड्यूज एज वेल एज मिथिलेटेड डेरेवेटिव ऑफ इरासिल आर ऑल्सो देयर बट दोज आर माइनर पिरीमिडियन बेसिस देन कमिंग टू प्यूरिन बेसिस इफ यू कंपेयर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पिरीमिडिन एंड प्यूरिन राइट सो हियर आर टू रिंग्स दिस कंप्लीट स्ट्रक्चर इज कॉल्ड एज प्यूरिन रिंग राइट बट हियर इफ यू कंपेयर यू विल फाइंड दैट वन पिरीमिडिन रिंग इज अटैच टू इमिडोजोल रिंग a product of fusion of pyrimidine ring with imidazol ring is purine ring okay so these are the purine bases adenine and guanine so like we discussed the chemical names for pyrimidine here also the same fact is used for nomenclature of purines the groups which are attached to carbon atoms in the ring here amino group is attached to six carbon atom so what should be the name of adenine it should be six amino purine similarly for guanine one amino group at second carbon atom and one keto group or oxy group at sixth carbon atom so its chemical name would be two amino Six oxy purine, two amino six oxy purine is guanine. Okay, there are other minor purine bases also. These bases may be found in small amounts in nucleic acids and hence called as minor bases. These are hypoxanthine and xanthine also. So you'll find those in nucleic acid. So to come to understand the structure of hypoxanthine, so here. is amino group present so if we replace that amino group with oxy group if we replace this amino group with oxy group or keto group that six oxy purine will be the hypoxanthine and xanthine if you replace this amino group from the second carbon atom with oxy group so it will be two six dioxy purine that is nothing but xanthine so replacement of this amino group in both the structures by a keto group will give you hypoxanthine and xanthine respectively so these are the minor bases and if you remember or the end product of purine bases is uric acid okay so what is the structure of uric acid so uric acid will have the same ring structure right after the catabolism of purine bases so what is the structure of uric acid it is 2 6 8 trioxy so 2 6 and 8 trioxy purine is nothing but uric acid okay so it is formed as an end product of catabolism of purine bases here also the keto group is more stable compared to enol group at physiological ph you will find all purines and pyrimidines will exist in lactam or keto form then coming to the structure of nucleotide students please see this table carefully so here both the nucleic acids are covered rna and dna the respective purines and pyrimidines which are there in the, those nucleic acids are also mentioned here sugars required for those nucleic acid is also mentioned and the corresponding nucleosides and nucleotides are formed are also mentioned here so you will find lot many mcqs can be there coming to rna so this green color indicates purines and this the sky blue color indicates pyrimidine so under this purines you know there are, there is adenine and guanine when they combine with ribose they will form adenosine and guanosine and these pyrimidines cytosine and uracil uracil is present in rna we have just discussed that combine with ribose they form respectively cytidine and uridine now up to this you must have understood yeah the suffixine which is mentioned here in green color indicates you purines the nucleosides formed after addition of purines and this sky blue color which indicates din d i n e cytidine uridine this din suffix is because of addition of pyrimidine 
so here it is easy d i n e d i n e in pyramid in spelling right so here seen is not matching with that but you remember that pyrimidine and cytidine and uridine okay and adenosine you will understand by exclusion so you remember in in nucleoside spelling the suffix s i n e indicates addition of purine and suffix d i n e dine indicates addition of pyrimidine to the respective sugar same is the case with dna here the exception is thymine this thymine is present in dna it combines with deoxyribose to form 2 deoxy thymidine and rest is same only difference here is deoxyribose sugar is used uh, for formation of nucleotides in dna structure it is 2 prime deoxy adenosine 2 prime deoxy guanosine 2 prime deoxy cytidine and 2 prime deoxy thymidine okay and after the formation of nucleoside there will be formation of nucleotide by addition of phosphoric acid a phosphate group at 5 prime position of sugar it is not like that group is not added at some other position but it is it is added at 3 prime position of sugar also but those are rare those nucleotides are rare and in nucleic acids like rna and dna the nucleotides with phosphoric acid present at 5 prime position of sugar are most common and usually they are at 5 prime position only and corresponding nu nucleotide formed here so adenylic acid or adenylate so monophosphate diphosphate and triphosphate guanylic acid cytidylic acid so they form corresponding monophosphate and diphosphate again in case of dna here the deoxyadenylate deoxyguanylate deoxycytidylate respectively okay they form dadp and datp only difference here is deoxy sugar and here is the ribose sugar okay but correspondingly they will form monophosphate they will form diphosphate they will form triphosphate it is not called as deoxythymidylic acid or deoxythymidylate it is only called as thymidylic acid or thymidylate remember this because thymine only binds with deoxyribose so there is no exception to that so when a, when we call as thymidylic acid or thymidylate that means in this case thymine is combined with deoxyribose that is understood and 5 prime amp 5 prime gmp okay we do not mention like that because 5 prime nucleotides are more often seen compared to 3 prime so we when we do not mention 5 prime amp or 5 prime dmp that means it is 5 prime and when it is 3 prime amp we will mention that specifically 3 prime amp or 3 prime uh, dmp for that matter okay so when it is not mentioned 5 prime that means it is 5 prime only because those are most common coming to nucleoside structure this is the structure of adenine this is ribose sugar this is the structure of thymine this is deoxyribose sugar now how nucleoside is formed here there is no phosphate group attached yet so this that's why it is nucleoside here the bases are attached to pentose sugar see pentose sugar is not attaching to adenine or nucle uh, nitrogenous bases the nitrogenous bases are attached to the sugars so the bases are attached to pentose sugar by beta and glycosidic bond this is beta n this is beta nitrogen so beta n glycosidic linkage is there between first carbon atom of pentose sugar and ninth nitrogen of a purine or in case of pyrimidine it is first carbon atom of pentose sugar 
and first nitrogen of pyrimidine this is the beta n glycosidic bond which is present between the sugar and nitrogenous base so in case of purines it will be n9 of a purine and in case of pyrimidine it will be n1 of pyrimidine attached to first carbon atom of respectively ribose or deoxyribose now we have we, we if we see the numbers given to the respective carbon atoms or the atoms present in purine ring or a sugar ring ribose or deoxyribose sugar you will see there is characteristic difference between numbering for bases and numbering for sugar so if you see the nitrogen carbon atoms of the pentose sugar are denoted by using a prime number so ribose sugar is indicated with prime numbers and in case of purine if you see those are in denoted without prime so for ribose sugar the carbon atoms then their numbers are denoted with a prime and for purines or pyrimidine ring those are denoted without prime so this is the difference and this difference will help you in understanding the nucleotide structure coming to the nucleotide structure this is nitrogenous base adenine and this is the ribose sugar deoxyribose sugar so this is n glycosidic linkage beta n glycosidic linkage and here the phosphate groups are attached this phosphate groups are attached and this complete structure is known as nucleotide structure so it is 2 prime deoxy atp here it is 2 3 di deoxy atp this dna polymerase uses 2 prime deoxy nucleotide phosphates as substrates for dna synthesis if oh group is present here that will be the ribose sugar if the oxygen is removed from here that is deoxy at 2 prime position okay that will be deoxy sugar okay that is present in dna structure that is the specific substrate for dna polymerase for dna synthesis now we modify this structure we can stop dna synthesis we can terminate dna synthesis if we remove one more oxygen from here and make this kind of structure that is 2 prime 3 prime di deoxy atp okay so both the oxygens are removed from say carbon atom and third car carbon atom also so it is 2 prime 3 prime di deoxy ntp dd ntp and dna polymerase will not be able to use this modified substrate for dna synthesis and it will terminate the chain elongation so that method this particular fact is used in sanger sequencing to identify the sequence in dna with this we finish the structure of nucleotide we have discussed about nitrogenous bases we have discussed nucleoside we have discussed nucleotide structures and their peculiar facts which are important to understand dna synthesis so these are the references used for this compilation we have already discussed those thank you so much for watching this video keep watching keep learning and keep motivating us students if you have not subscribed to the channel yet i request you to subscribe to the channel so that you get real time notifications about the upcoming videos in this lecture series and please hit like button and share the content if you really like the content thank you so much